What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the sub function in the math functions collection. So sub is short for subtract. So if you watched my last video on add, this is the opposite to that. So this is like subtracting one number from another number. Again, a lot like add, this can only be used for two numbers, but can be used as either floats or integers or a mixture of the two. So let's take a look at how it works. So I'm in Power Automate here. We have my manual flow expression up here, uh, and we've got two number inputs, so number one and number two. Then underneath that, we have a compose action. So we can click compose. You can click across to expressions, and we can scroll down until we get to the math functions. And then we have a sub uh, function down here. So the it only requires two parameters. So this is the number that you're putting in, and then the number that you're subtracting from um, that you're subtracting the first number from. So this is what you're subtracting, and this is the first number. So a lot like you'd have in math. Math. Um, so it returns the result from subtracting two numbers. So I'll click sub. Then we'll use number one, and then we'll put a comma in, and then we'll add the dynamic content for number two. And we're basically just saying take uh, take number two away from number one. So we add that in there, and then we click test. So I'll perform the action. So we'll choose number 10, and then we'll subtract the number 5. Run flow. And click done. The output is 5. So we put in the number 10, and then we subtracted 5 from it, and that equals 5. So let's take a look at mixing in a float. So uh, we'll just test this again, because as I said, this works with decimal numbers as well. So we'll choose 5 minus um, 3.7. Uh, for instance. And we'll click run the flow. Click done. Uh, and here we can see the output is 2.3. So we've passed in number 6, and when we're taking away 3.7, and that gives you this. Now, again, it's kind of a basic, uh, basic example of this. You'd probably never really need to subtract two numbers, or maybe you would do. Um, but you can just keep building uh, these these um, functions up. So at the moment we're just um, you know minusing two things away. We could have uh, add you know adding multiple numbers into this. So we can actually make this quite a complex calculation by using you know add and subtract. So. I think this is, you know, very useful. Uh, but what do you guys think? I always want to know what you guys are using this for. So let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends if you found it useful. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.